it is very clear to me, being here in Sochi, that the Russian researchers are taking Lena or cold nuclear transmutation, as they call it here, very seriously. And they are also taking seriously something that I've been raising and trying to impress upon people quite a lot over the last sort of 18 months, two years. And that is strange radiation and also uh, how destructive the uh, active agent in the cold nuclear transmutation or low energy nuclear reactions is uh, if it gets to a certain scale. Now, Alexander Parkamov uh, had only ever had one reactor work through its excess heat to showing no excess heat, and that's the one that he's going to be reporting uh, on the session one, uh, presentation one. And uh, as I said, we, we um, outlined the key details of that uh, in uh, ICCF 21. Uh, however, um, there is also going to be uh, some studies done and shown, or rather revealed. Uh, here you can see uh, on Thursday, uh, uh, presentation 11, uh, which also includes work from uh, Alexander Parkamov, Statistics of Strange Radiation Tracks from Working Lena Reactors. Um, so this is interesting because uh, obviously he's had done a large number of reactors and he's shown me and I've shared some of the sort of destructive influences of um, the active agent uh, of which I believe uh, strange radiation is a fragment uh, and itself is uh, an active agent. Um, uh, but it's kind of destabilized and traveling. Uh, so uh, there's going to be statistics uh, on the tracks. And also over here, uh, Shishkin is uh, reporting on estimation of radio uh, radiation influence of string vortex solitons. And it's interesting that they're, they're calling this uh, string vortex solitons. Um, this is quite similar to the kind of uh, um, ideas that I was uh, uh, trying to get across at the early part of this year uh, when looking at the Lion Reactor, which still has much more to offer even in the data um, and visual data that we have from the current reactors that we have uh, analyzed. Uh, another thing that was uh, intimated to me, uh, I might have mentioned that uh, um, uh, shoulders uh, suffered uh, from uh, cancer uh, and uh, uh, it's also something that uh, took uh, Yurji Bajatov and uh, uh, it, it really needs to be seriously considered. Um, in 2006, I, I shared a, a paper recently uh, of Shoulders how he described that in the dark mode, his idea of the active agent, the uh, exotic vacuum object in dark mode could travel into the, the body uh, uh, as if it was like a neutron and when in the body it could explode and emit a um, uh, large sort of beta burst uh, which would be more like a traditional radiation but you basically wouldn't see it go in and uh, uh, you wouldn't be able to detect these things with normal neutron detectors or normal uh, sort of Geiger-Muller tubes. Uh, these things are ineffective so if you have a reactor that's not showing any standard types of radiation this is not standard types of radiation. And actually, they've taken it so seriously here that Klimov is, is studying um, the effects on, on mice. And I hope to get some more details on that. Um, but uh, you should be aware that uh, uh, this, in my view, uh, is what is causing uh, uh, Lena effects. Uh, it is necessary to have the things that cause strange radiation uh, in your reactor in order to um, create Lena. If it gets out of hand, it will eat your reactor uh, unless you have a, one of a few ways uh, to contain or drain it. Um, I've said that in uh, inadvertently, I believe that uh, Suhas Ralkar had managed to uh, circumvent the problems because uh, he was having constant water flowing through and the reactor was designed so that the cores uh, were not necessarily sealed and that the uh, active agent could maybe go into the metal and then conduct and, and be dissipated uh, in uh, the flowing water so there was um, no build up to a point of um, getting really dangerous. In the case of Klimov, uh, he has this kind of uh, uh, 
spinning vortice um, so that the active agent in, and the actual reaction zone is like constantly being flushed. So again, the active agent doesn't grow to a scale at which it becomes uh, really dangerous. Uh, and in the case of Shoulders, uh, I think if you look into his patents, he was using a quadrupole. Uh, so he's effectively magnetically confining uh, his um, uh, plasmoids, as uh, some people call them, condensed plasmoids, as uh, more traditional physics uh, calls these exotic vac vacuum objects. So um, I think uh, people need to respect this technology. Um, and uh, there needs to be an openness about uh, how you can research it and uh, uh, safely. And uh, there needs to be more focus. And so uh, part of what I want to get across is some of the learning that I've had over the last uh, 18 months on how to detect and, and uh, capture evidence of strange radiation. And I'm, I'm really, really excited to see uh, what um, has been done in this work. Uh, uh, with re respect to characterizing uh, the effects of strange radiation and uh, maybe the the uh, the radiation influence here this is this I think could be very good and whatever Klimov can tell me so uh, I hope to get out another update by the end of today uh, and then the main presentation start tomorrow uh, so I think it's going to be a huge day uh, if people want to uh, think about what questions they might want to ask um, uh, about the Parkamov experiment. Please go and visit my previous videos on uh, the Parkamov presentation that I uh, gave uh, on sidelines of ICCF 21. Uh, um, uh, this uh, is, uh, you know, uh, maybe the, you can't ask too many questions about uh, simulating uh, ball lightning using explosion of metal. Um, uh, this is interesting. If anyone wants some questions uh, put to uh, Kikinski, uh, I think this guy might be in the Denaeum group. But anyway, um, he's talking about uh, the uh, transmutation reactions in the Earth's core. Uh, uh, G.V. Mashinsky, uh, this is a spectacular piece of work. Um, I have uh, translated this into English, and that is what I want to try and get out to you uh, later um, uh, today. Uh, with some thoughts uh, around it. So uh, when you get to see that uh, translation, I want you to think about it and uh, maybe overnight fire back some questions that you want me to ask uh, 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 Mashinsky uh, and maybe we can get some feedback on that tomorrow. Uh, and also if you want me to ask specific questions uh, to uh, Sergey Godin, uh, uh, please again also fire that back uh, overnight.